Okay, the calculator is an amazing resource for us. In Algebra 1, we are going to be using the calculator a ton. So, you just did a bunch of work on finding slopes and graphing by hand and writing the equation of lines. And now I'm going to show you how to do a lot of that stuff using the calculator to help you kind of take a shortcut. So, if you struggled with graphing by hand or with finding slope, make sure you're paying super close attention because you're going to be expected to be able to do all of those things throughout the rest of the year, but you are always allowed to use your calculator. And now that you're going to know how to use your calculator, you need to make it your best friend and you make sure you're using it correctly. So you need to know the processes. Okay. So first thing, anytime you start messing with stuff, windows start changing or settings get adjusted, if you ever get stuck and your calculator is just not doing what you want it to, start over, reset the calculator so that everything goes back to the normal settings using the buttons second plus seven, one, two. Now, if you have an older calculator, it could be five instead of seven. So second plus seven, one, two should be all of our calculators, I believe. But if you're using a different calculator that wasn't issued to you, you may have to use second plus, and then here it'll reset might be five. But second plus seven, one, two should work to clear the RAM. What that does is just reset all your settings, all your windows, everything will be back to, I guess what we would consider the normal, okay? So today we're gonna talk about how to put a table into the calculator and the calculator will write the equation of the line for you. Yes, that can it can do that. So I have my table here and here's the process I'm gonna use. So stat, everything starts with stat, starts with stat, starts with stat. It's like start without the R, right? So hit stat, edit is going to be highlighted. All you have to do is hit enter. Stat edit gets our process started. You can see we have lists here. We're going to be using L1 for our X's and L2 for our Y's. So all your X values will be listed in the list one. All your Y values will be listed in list two. So here's my table. Negative two, enter. Negative one, enter. Zero, enter. One, enter. Two, enter. I'm going to use the arrow to go over to list two, and I'm going to enter the y values. 15, enter. 11, enter. 7, 3, and negative 1. You always want to make a quick double check that you didn't leave a number out in either column. If they don't match up, obviously that's not, it's not going to do it correctly. Okay? So I got my, my table typed in. I did stat edit typed my X values in L1, typed my Y values in X2. Now I'm gonna hit stat again. Remember it starts with stat. Stat, I'm gonna go over to calc and down to number four, linear regression. It says lin reg, linear regression. And you can see that AX plus B, that's our MX plus B. Not sure why they didn't use M. Then when you hit enter, it may ask you a few things. Just hit enter on all of these, and yes, we want it to calculate, and boom, there we go. The line that fits this table is y equals negative 4x plus 7. You're going to plug your a in here, and your b in here gives it to you in slope-intercept form. So great. If I had given you this problem before you knew this process, you would have had to find the slope, find the y-intercept, then plug them both into the equation. The calculator will do all of that for you. So one more time, the process. Stat, edit, all x values go in L1, all y values go in L2. Back to stat, over to calc, linear regression is number four. Enter, enter, enter until you get your answer. Okay. Let's try another one. All right. So this time I am given a list of points. What is a list of points? 
A list of points can be written as a table, right? If you're given a table, you're given a bunch of points. If you're given points, you're really given a table in a different format. I'm actually going to write these as a table. My 0 with my negative 1, 3, 1, and 6, 3. So I have my table. So I'm going to go to Stat. I'm going to go to Edit. Stat Edit to get it started. And now there's already numbers in here. I need these cleared out. Please notice this note. Do not hit delete. If you go up and you hit delete, it deletes the whole column and the calculator is not programmed for Y's or X's to be in a different column than L1 and L2 for our purposes. So go up so that L2 is highlighted, hit clear, it's right by the arrows. Clear and then when you push down, all those numbers will go away. Same thing, L1, up, clear, down and your table is ready. So I'm going to type the table in. 0, 3, 6 are my x's. My y's are negative 1, 1, 3. I have my table typed in. I now go to stat, over to calc, down to linear regression, and I hit enter until I get my answer. And I can see that my a is the repeating decimal of 6.666 and my B is negative 1. So I'm going to write that as uh, 0.66667 is equivalent to 2 thirds. So with the push of a few buttons you can write the equation of a line given some points. It's the shortcut. I'm sure you're very glad that you are learning it. You might wish you had learned it a little sooner but you know the process now, so now we will use our calculators to find these things. Even a problem that says just find the slope. Again, a, a list of points is a table. So I can make this a table, negative nine, negative 4.5, negative three, negative 1.5. And I can use the same process in the calculator, stat, edit, I'm going to clear out my lists using the arrow keys and the clear button. And then I'm just going to type in negative 9, negative 3, uh, negative 4.5, negative 1.5. I double check that my lists are correct. Back to stat, over to calc, down to linear regression. And there is the equation of my line. Now it gave me the whole equation. This question asks only for the slope. So when I answer this question, I'm going to tell what the slope is. Slope is one half. 